welcome to the another video tutorial and in this particular tutorial i am going to show you how you can host react js application or express js application perhaps any node application like literally any express js react js or any other node js framework is there then you can use exact same process to host all of these on cyber panel okay so without wasting time let's get started so i have already installed the cyber panel on digitalocean server so if you don't have account of digitalocean and you haven't installed cyber panel anywhere and you are just watching this video in order to learn best way to learn is doing by yourself so go ahead there's a link in the description where you will get 200 dollar credit on digitalocean click on that link create an account and let's and you will find cyber panel installation video on this particular playlist and then again you can come to this particular tutorial to try out node application or you can say any react application uh, extra js application hosting okay so without wasting time let's get started First thing first, you should have been uh, logged in inside the cyber panel dashboard. Let's go ahead and click on website. Let's click on the create website. Okay. So in my case, I'm going to use the domain in order to host the website, but my domain is not pointed to the server. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's simply add the NM record to the domain so that you will also understand the process. For me, I'm using Cloudflare to manage my domain DNS. Uh, this is how Cloudflare looks like, but in your case, it, if it is different, doesn't matter. Just go ahead and create a NM record. Uh, the steps will be different but the feeling is same creating the anm record so let me add the uh, record and anm record so right now i'm not going to host a website on the main domain i'm going to host on the subdomain okay the process is going to be same for everyone just for replace the my subdomain with the your main domain and you should have it right so let's go ahead and let's type node and as you can see it is showing node.1.t.in that's the uh, subdomain where we are going to host the website. So let's paste the IP address of the server. Let's copy this particular subdomain that we created and let's save it. So once it is saved, we are ready to go. Let's open the cyber panel, select the package, select the owner. And then here is my subdomain. And in your case, it might be your main domain. Then there is an email address. So make sure that you are entering the valid email address because that's where you will get SSR related error or website related error if there is any. Uh, then uh, let's go ahead and select the PHP version. Hence, it is Node application. It doesn't matter which PHP version you select, but it is in the form. So let's select it. Then check on the SSL and then check on the base DR protection and click on create a website. And that should create a website for us. Remember, right now, what website we have created is a just a static website. I will show you in a bit. This is just a static website. Now we want we now we will set up the uh, node files or let's say js files in the directory and then we will create a configuration for node js website express js website react js website whatever it is and then we will deploy it and then our react js website node js website or express js website is going to be live okay i think you understood how the roadmap will look okay so let's wait for successfully completed website okay so it's completed there so uh, let's click on the dashboard let's go to the websites let's go to the list website let's go to the our website which is node.1yt.in let's look at this particular website go to the manage and here we are in the control panel where we can do all of stuff with our website okay so as of now just copy this our subdomain and go to the new tab and paste it right here so as you can see by default cyber panel shows this particular uh, specific uh, template right so let's go ahead in the browser so if you go here as you can see there is a file manager option available let's click on the file manager and public.html here our all website files are present so what you can do is you can just delete particular this index.html page and we can create our own pages right here so let's go ahead let's open the terminal where we will be doing some settings and then we will come back here again so open the terminal as you can see i have done ssh login already but in your case if you haven't done the ssh login in the server what you can do is open the terminal if you are on windows open the cmd do ssh root at and server ip so in my case the server ip is right here so i can just copy that ip address and i can do the login right here in my case the login is already done but let's go ahead and let's close this because i have done already the login here uh, but you need to do the login. Okay, 
So once the login is done, first thing we need to do is, hence we are running the node application. We need to install the node.js. Okay. Uh, by default, if you do apt install, let's say node.js, let me uh, do that, install node.js or something, then by default, it will install the node 12 version, 1 to 12 version, right. But if you uh, check the latest version of the node, it's uh, I think uh, 19 something, right? Oh, sorry, it is 20, okay. Uh, so what you can do is you can just stick with the latest version of the node, you can install the latest version of the node, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you idea how you can install any version of the node so that it will be very easy for you to manage the node versions. Okay. So in here, I'm going to install the node 16. Okay. It totally depends on your application, which you, uh, node version your application is using, etc. Uh, depending on that, you need to install a uh, corresponding node version. In my case, I'm going to stick with the 16. I'm not going to choose the default version of the 12. Uh, because it is too easy and it might be possible that you are looking for the way to install another version so my process will help you to uh, install another version also so let's install node 16 okay so first thing you need to do is you need to this uh, paste this particular command where we are just hitting the uh, nodesource.com and then set up node 16 in your case if there is a different version you can just replace 16 with the another version I'm going to stick with the node 16 so as you can see it is saying that no this version is deprecated is no longer uh, being maintained so uh, that's why it is showing the error but after you uh, wait for some time it will go ahead and it will uh, do the installation process after the 60 seconds right so you will get this warning for all versions except the latest version because obviously the all versions uh, except the latest, latest version which is going to be the deprecated versions right so as you can see 16 16 seconds are already over and it executed the script and finally it is giving something like this so i will just copy this particular command to install node.js and if i do install it should pull the node 16 version of the node so as you can see it is showing the node 16 and if you go further there is a node.js and there is a 16 version available okay so right now it is installed so let me do node and dash v and it should show node 16 which is node 16.20.2 that's the version i'm using okay so let's clear everything and let's move forward with the setup in the uh, our js application let's do cd home and our website name which is node.1yt.in in your case if you are using the main domain then you will type the main domain only okay do ls there is a public.html go inside public.html then do ls and there is nothing because we deleted the index file if you remember from here okay so let's do one thing let's create one more file here which is going to be the uh, app.js file okay so in this particular demo i am going to uh, host the express.js application because it is already given in the cyber panel website as a um, example right but in your case, if you are, uh, want to host any application, you can go ahead with it. And if you are facing any doubt, literally any doubt, just uh, put that particular error doubts in the comment box and I will try to answer it. Okay. For me, I will just uh, stick with the by default option, which is uh, Express.js. So let's go ahead, click on the file, create new file, then type add.js and hit enter. Once it is done, right click on it and open with the code editor right here. And then we need to add the code here where we will be doing express application. Okay, so right now as you can see the express is there. So let's go ahead and save it. Next thing we need to do is open the terminal and hence we are going to host the express application. We need to install the express. So let's go ahead and let's uh, do and let's clear the screen and next thing we need to do is we need to install the package which is express.js so let's do npm install express.js and save so let's uh, hit enter and let's wait for some time and it should install npm uh, express.js right if you do ls as you can see the package.json is created log.json created no malware is there and we are ready to go next thing we need to do is we need to add virtual host configuration in cyber panel so let's minimize this particular terminal right here uh, let's go to the cyber panel. You can close this. Let's go to the cyber panel home. Then let's go to the websites. Okay, so we were already in the website 1yt.in. Okay, so node.1yt.in. 
let's find the uh, option called the host config and let's click on that let's go to the bottom and we need to add something right here which is context okay so let's copy the context and paste it right here so as you can see it is showing the app server okay then uh, app type is node maximum connection is that 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 uh, bin path is slash node slash bin so we will just verify this because i'm not sure of it so let's do clear do ls and paste the path right here and as you can see it is turning into the green that means the file is there the binary is there next thing we need to do is we need to add the our website path so let's go ahead in the uh, uh, terminal again let's clear and do pwd because we i am already in the path okay in your case you can uh, do the same and let's replace the path if you don't understand what you are doing what you can do is simply go ahead and replace the domain name only this is the domain name part just replace the domain name part and then add the public.html at the end for let's go uh, go back again as you can see it is doing slash home express js whatever 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 so what you can do is you can just go here type node.1yt.in uh, this is for me in your case the domain my name might be different okay then go ahead let's save it and that should be it and that should give us the website right here so let's go ahead and re refresh it and it is saying hello world so congratulations this is how you can host your any node uh, framework uh, website that includes uh, react.js that includes the express.js that includes next.js that includes obviously everything which is related to node okay so yeah this is how you can set up the website and uh, and that's all for this particular video if you want any video to host the Re react application next application or anything just do let me know in the comment I will try my best to solve your issue or uh, if there is a video needed I will create videos too and if you are facing any error any anything literally anything in during this particular installation you can just put in the comments below and I will try my best to answer it and if you like this video hit the like button and consider subscribing this youtube channel because I will be posting frequently the system administration video which will be helping you to uh, update your skills upgrade your yourself and that's all thanks for watching this one see you in the next and make sure you subscribe the channel